Hello. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Ruth. Um, thank you, uh, everybody who's giving these amazing, amazing talks. Um, so I'm here uh, from Ariadne. Um, so Ariadne is a, um, it's an organization that I founded three years ago. Um, we are women making social and political theater to inspire change. Um, and as Ruth said, this came about through um, In Place of War. This is something that I'll talk about. But speaking of positive role models, um, In Place of War is also run by Professor James Thompson. And he was my um, professor at university. Um, I am a theatre director and also a uh, journalist at The Guardian and the BBC. Um, and it came about that a while ago, um, I, uh, I, I was interested in the idea of there being women making theatre in these very, very um, challenged societies who I didn't know about. And if I didn't know about it as a theatre director who was working a lot internationally and also working on a program um, on the BBC called Woman's Hour, um, then, I, then I, I, I thought that there's, a, there's something going wrong there. I need to know who these people are. So what is Ariadne? Well, Ariadne has grown since the moment when I um, had supper with James and said, what can I do? Who, who are these women? Where might I start? Um, he uh, started the ball rolling with various um, various names, astonishingly, they all, um, they all wanted to get involved. So various residencies have taken place, and I am happy to tell you that Ariadne is a global collective of women making social and political theatre to inspire change. We work with and connect women theatre makers, stimulating political change in challenged societies in order to avoid a repetition of the past. We cultivate hope by sharing our experiences, providing others with the tools to build on our practice, and we create collaborative projects, amplifying our work and reaching diverse global audiences, uh, which is quite something from when I thought maybe I could just go and make a couple of films about some interesting people. So who is Ariadne? Well, um, Ariadne is this. It's that, it's uh, conferences and talking. It's talking amongst ourselves. Um, so we were um, amazingly uh, invited by um, the university um, in Dublin, Trinity College Dublin, um, to come and spend a week in something that they created, they inaugurated called The Nest. Um, it was a residency that they are continuing. Um, and the inspiration of that are the three words Exhale, share, reflect. It's the most incredibly important um, week that a lot of us have spent together, and it's a model that I happily uh, share with you all. If there is any way of meeting together and, um, and finding that space where you can actually play and uh, create and think and share together, um, it's, we all know it. It's, it's precious. Um, we, we went to uh, Burundi and Rwanda. We did make those films I was talking about. Ariadne is this. <coughs> Ariadne is also very much that. So why, why Ariadne? Well, um, because uh, th there's, there's a need, I think, I believe, um, for a spotlight to be put on, um, particularly women making these the this kind of theater, um, women as role models. We all know how important role models are um, and um, that if you can see somebody doing something, then you, you have a better possibility of yourself <coughs> being um, that person or doing that kind of, that kind of work. Um, as I say, I had a curiosity, a real curiosity um, that hadn't been sated about who these amazing women are who are making theatre. And of course, you know, it's one thing making theatre in challenged societies. It's quite another being a woman doing that and leading and um, leading the charge in, you know, very often quite patriarchal 
um, scenarios. Uh, as I say, the discovery that they, that they are many, but also the, the unconnectedness. So James, had, you know, who knows his stuff, um, had pointed out that you know, there, there isn't very much uh, research done into, who, into these networks specifically of women making this kind of theater. When I brought together the women who I'm about to introduce to you, um, what astonished me was how, yes, some of them knew who each other were, was, but they all felt like they were working individually in their own countries. Um, and crucially, they all said, we are tired. We are tired. Like, let's, you know, let's get together and not all be reinventing the wheel as it says on the next thing. Um, and then finally, the belief that, that united, we have more power. Again, this is not anything that any of you don't know. Um, so at the moment, Ariadne is made up of, um, well, uh, me as the founder, um, Carmel England, who is our, um, one of our producers in London, and Solène Marier, who is a producer who's currently living in Brasilia. Um, and then the, th the theater makers themselves. So we have uh, Diana Milosevic, who's from Serbia, and um, she co-founded uh, Dah Theater, which means breath, in Yugoslavia 25 years ago, with all the politics that you can imagine from that. Um, what she says is, what is the responsibility of the artist in a dark time? We're in a negative spiral where women's rights are in danger around the world. It's more important than ever that we support each other's artistic work to find the time to stop, share, exchange, and think together about how to influence our societies. Um, a lot of what we do is thinking about um, how what, what we as women have to say differently and how we can say that differently and um, stopping ourselves from tripping up on very obvious patriarchal um, norms that are very, very easy to, um, to fall into. What does it look like if the rule book is, um, is, is thrown out and, and, and women were in power? Ooh, exciting. Um, we have Frédéric Leconte. So Frederic is, uh, she is Belgian. She works in Burundi and uh, DR Congo mainly. Her work involves um, using a lot of theater of the oppressed, Augusto Boal. Um, she travels into uh, very, uh, very challenging, very dangerous places and works within the communities, um, often with uh, child soldiers or um, girls who have been, um, um, who've suffered rape as a, um, as a weapon of war, uh, people on death row, of which more in a second. Um, and she goes and, and works with them. Um, they put on plays often with a torturer and victim sharing the same space and crucially swapping roles and then performing that in front of their local community, in front of anything between 1,000 and 5,000 people. The work that she does is absolutely mind-blowing um, and controversial. Uh, she says, I believe in our force, our collective force. This is about sort of Ariadne and women. All of these energetic women, she says with this very French accent, uh, she goes, that together we can make a collaborative, militant, fighting theater that will fight back and change the world through the power of theater. I mean, why not? And I, I kept that in because it's so Frederic. It's like, oh, why not? Um, then we have Iman Aoun. Now, this is brilliant because Iman is working with border crossings who uh, Lucy was just talking a, a minute ago. Um, Wonderful. I hadn't realized that you were here. Oh, it was great to hear you. Um, Iman is from Ashtar Theatre in Palestine. Uh, I mean, a little bit's been described already, but the work that they do um, is astonishing across, uh, particularly working with the younger populations, sort of children, um, giving them a voice, giving them an identity. Um, and she's here, of which more in a second. 
Am I doing this right? Yeah. Uh, she says, as women naturally, we see and do things differently to men. We have different vibes, connections with, and messages, messages for society. We must celebrate, understand, and work together to make it a common methodology accessible to the younger people who will follow in our footsteps. Ruanti Dechikera, she's from Sri Lanka. Um, again, playwright, theatre director, actor. Um, she has done a lot of work for about 20 years. Um, and her work very much works politically and socially within Sri Lanka, um, often in very challenging scenarios. As you can imagine, they, they're just very recently out of, um, out of civil war. Uh, she says... It's clear that the theatre we make impacts our audiences, but it's important to acknowledge the deep transformative effect it has on actors and participants too. It's not too much to hope that the injustices, sadnesses, frustrations and inequalities of the world will reduce through making theatre. I have seen people turn their lives around. And then we have Hope Azeda, um, who for the moment is the last of our um, Ariadne theatre makers. She's based in Rwanda. Um, she uh, runs Mashirika Theatre um, Company and Collective. Um, and they, they put on theatre of, of all sizes. When I went to go and see her in, um, in Rwanda, it was the 20th, um, the commemoration of the genocide. Um, and she was in th this enormous um, stadium in the middle of, uh, in the middle of Kigali, Kigali, making what would be the, the sort of the enormous performance in the center of their um, commemorative ceremony that had the likes of Bill Clinton and Kofi Annan. Um, and her big um, dilemma at the time was, how do I represent what has happened to my country without triggering mass trauma. It was, um, which, she, which she did. Not trigger, she achieved it. She says, there came a point when I was tired of always making theater about the conflict. I wanted to make stories about love, comedy, anything, butterflies. And then my dad sat me down and said, Hope, your history is your shadow and it will always walk with you. And I realized, Everything I create is part of my history because I am a part of that history. And so also it's important that I create what will be our future. Um, the reason I say that is because they can always say these things much more eloquently than I can. Um, what we're interested in, um, in doing is all of those things. It's all about um, creating space, creating connections, um, but also creating work together. So in the two and a little bit years that we've been going, um, we have filmed in Burundi and Rwanda. Um, we were a key partner at the Abbey Theatre in Ireland's Theatre of War Symposium. Um, Dear Children Sincerely is our first co-creation, which was um, the idea of Rwanti in Sri Lanka. Um, that we all go and interview our elders, people who were born in the 1930s, and ask them, what, come on, what was life like? Like, before it's too late, um, what was life like? What did you learn? What's, what was the sexual revolution like for you? What does, um, what did, you know, the signing of the Declaration of Human Rights mean for you? And the, the answers, evidently, are going to be very different if you're asking, some, an, an eight-year-old in Burundi, an eight-year-old in Sri Lanka, and an eight-year-old in a nursing home in Colchester, as I did. Um, they got together. Um, the uh, Hope and Rua managed to get together and collaborate to make a performance in, uh, in Rwanda and Sri Lanka, which is now beginning to tour, uh, which is very exciting. There will be more of that to come. <coughs> the Syrian monologues um, we performed on... National Refugee Day in June, um, Iman Aoun from Palestine had created uh, the Gaza monologues five years ago, which 
caused quite a storm at the time, um, and she wanted to do the same thing with the Syrian monologues. I won't go on, but um, it's worth having a look. Our future plans include, um, we're, we're going to be at the University of Essex in 2017, in June, come and find us. We literally found out we've got the money three days ago, very exciting. Um, we tour creative work, mentoring, role models, the importance of um, seeing other women in positions of power for both men and women um, is a really important part of our um, belief. Um, networks, making artistic collaborations, which a, a lot of this is about, um, and partnerships with universities and research institutes. The belief being that, um, as Deanna once said, what we want to do is um, fill our half of the library bookshelves. There are so many books written about men and the, the theatre, the wonderful theatre that they've made. There's very little written about women. Um, so one of our big things is to get big on the, on the academic front. Um, now, I had a video which I'm not going to show, um, so, but in the spirit of um, networks and collaborations, and it just fills me with enormous joy that border crossings were here, I'd always planned um, to, to promote Iman's play because she is here. She's a theatre director. She's also an astonishing actress, um, and they are doing this brilliant play. So... That sort of that that makes me really happy that I'm able to sort of show show that for them. Um, right, we are Ariadne. Please um, like look us up, come and say hello, um, and uh, come and join us. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs>